Carpentry and antiques are my passions. Through the years, I have amassed various collections as well as useful woodworking skills. I have learned that just by keeping your eyes open while earning a living, you can learn a lot. I'm always looking for ways to do things differently and deviate from what's conventional. Join me on a journey of education and entertainment through projects and adventures. My name is Austin Tischler and welcome to my channel. Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be redoing the aluminum cladding on this deck. And the reason I'm redoing it is my dad just isn't very happy with the way it turned out the first time. Uh, the guy who did this was a fellow carpenter who I worked alongside for a little bit. And I guess, let's just be honest, it's not really the greatest job. I mean, I have a lot of respect for the guy. He taught me a lot of things I know about breaking metal, but some of this just isn't <laughs> the greatest. Um, a lot of the times there's extenuating circumstances in people's lives that I guess sort of, I guess you could say justify work like this, but a lot of this is just kind of westerns together, just kind of cobbled on there. So we're gonna strip all this off and do it a little, do a little nicer job of it. Well, that was an ordeal and a half. So I guess he caulked the metal on, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, something I like to keep in mind when I build is not to build for yourself. Don't be selfish. Um, keep in mind that other people are eventually gonna have to come back and redo your work for any variety of reasons so keep it easy to disassemble there's ways to do it right without making it that permanent so i'm just gonna work on the step first i'm just getting my pieces broke so for this clip here i'm gonna kind of spend a bit of time explaining how i put these pieces on here so first thing i'll do because my bot or my top piece overlaps my bottom piece. I'll put the bottom on first. And I'll just mark where I'm going to notch this. So I've got two sets of snips, one's a right hand and one's a left hand, and they each have their own use. Some cuts are easier with the left and right. And then these are hand seamers, so they bend the metal. So 
so then when the next one comes and overlaps, you don't see any sharp corners. So then this will go on just like that. And I think I'll just take some pneumatic staples and fasten it that way. I'm not gonna use cotton again, that's a dumb idea. So I got the rest of this on. I still have to fasten it, it's still a bit loose. I'll put all the staples hidden down under, but yeah, I think that's looking a little bit better at least. So for this piece, this will be like a capping that will hook underneath on the edge of a board, basically to cap a one by four. So bend the bottom edge up at a 90. Actually, I'll start at the top. It'll be easier. Another three quarter inch bend. And then just measure three inches. To hook on to the bottom. Three and a sixteenth I'll go. Give me some room. a chunk that will cap over top of a 1x4. So I'll show you the complete step that I do to break a piece. So for this particular piece I need 13 and a quarter sticking out, which is an inch and a half past what I actually need. so I don't make it too good. And then the bottom will be whatever. Make that just a tiny bit less than three quarters. to go ten and a quarter. ones kind of move back and forth on you in the break so you have to keep checking each side until you got it nice and there there's the bottom piece for the deck now this is kind of a trick I use sometimes to create bends in a piece going the wrong way. Um, 
the hand seamers would work, but the brake always makes nicer bends than the seamers. And I just want to do this because it's pretty visible and I want it to look nice. So this is almost a two-person job on a piece this length. But we're going to try this. this band to me. That's how you can do some bends going the wrong way on the brake. Well, there's the deck all finished. Um, I think it turned out nicer than it was before. Um, the only thing I have to do now is just at the bottoms, because I couldn't get the stapler down there. Um, I think I'm just going to have to use screws, but I'll just consult with my dad where he wants the screws just to kind of suck this stuff in tighter and everything. But overall, I think it matches with the house better because the house just has smooth aluminum and this was wood grain before. And that Gentech wood grain just really looks bad in my opinion. But for these, rather than doing them all in one piece, I did them separately. Um, if you're gonna have like a corner or an angle or something rather than trying to hide it and just flex the piece over it's better to just make it crisp and clean and even if it's a little more noticeable it's still clean um just don't try to hide the fact that there's an angle there but other than that um it's pretty tight um so that's good the other stuff was kind of loose and floppy, but um, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more carpentry videos.